Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today I am going to explain few commands of advances. In my previous video, I already explained how to create a table in advances. So in this scenario, there is a table, table name is STU1, there is a four variables like ID, name, salary and city and we have to create a table like this for first we have to select the entire code and go to the submit button. So you can see there is four variables ID, name, salary and city is generated for this code. After that, we can insert few records like ID, name, salary and city. So again, we can just select this code and go to the submit button like this so you can see five rows were inserted into work.stu1 so you know work is a default folder of sas and stu1 is the table name of sas so come to the coding part just how to select all the records for this just write prop sql after that select star star means all the variables from your table limit like stu1 and then semicolon after that quit after that we can just select the entire code and go to the submit button like this so you can see there is the five observations one two three four five with four variables it display on your result window now back to the coding part so this is a very basic command that means how to create a table and how to insert the record in existing tables and how to display the records now next very important task suppose this is a table with four variables and five observations suppose i want to display all the cell i want to display records whose salary is more than 50000 for this what we can do we can simply write proc sql select star like this from table name like stu1 where salary greater than 50,000 and go to the quit like this and then select the entire code and go to the execution part like this so you can see there is only one records whose cell is more than 50,000 that is ID 3, name is Anil and city is Mumbai. So this is another scenario of select command. Now there is one more scenario. Suppose I want to display all the city in descending orders. So what we can do for this, we can simply write the same command like this proc SQL select star from stu1 and after that there is a command the command is called order by then mention the column names or variable name suppose your variable name is city and just write desc because ascending is by default so just write desc and then quit after that just go to the execution phase and then execute so you can see the tables is already display but city is arranged according to descending orders like first noida then mumbai jaipur delhi and agra so back to the coding parts so next is again very important task in terms of select command suppose i want to insert 5000 salaries of every employee so what we can do for this we can very simple we can use proc sql again again use select star comma salary plus 5000 as net salary from em from stu1 and go to quit and then select and go to the execution phase so you can see the new variable is automatically generated and salary is automatically increased. That means increase with 5000. That means 34,000 has come to 39,000, 44,000 has come to 49,000, 54,000 becomes 59,000, 39,000 becomes 44 and 34 again 39. So this is all about select command. 
in terms of advances now there is more commands for example suppose i want to add a new column in this existing tables that is like age so what we can do for this we can use another command proc sql alter table table name like stu1 and after that there is a column add and then just display the new variables name suppose new variable name is age age is an integer then just and you can just terminate with quit command just select so the new column is automatically display that is age and the record is blank so there is next challenge how to insert the value of age for this what we can do we can simply use prop command sql there is another command command is called update command update stu1 then simply use set age is equal to 24 where city is equal to Delhi just terminate and go to the quit part it's not st it's that stu and just select this one row was updated we can just check the results for this command command is just very simple just use proc sql select star from stu1 and let's say quit command like this and then again select and go to this face so you can see one row is automatically updated that means in the variable age 24 is automatically added with respect to city Delhi because condition is based on Delhi so there is a update command previous command is alter command so with the help of update command you can update or you can insert the value of any row and with the help of alter command you can add any variables any data types or rename the tables this is all about alter commands now there is one more important command that is delete command delete command is another very important part of advances so it's again very simple command proc suppose i want to delete all the records whose city is delhi for this what we can do we can simply use proc sql then delete from stu1 where city is equal to noida and then just quit then go for the execution phase just check so you can see one row was deleted from work.stu1 just check then again go to the execution phase that means select command just check so you can see the record of noida is not available just because of delete command so this session or this lecture is basically based on few commands of advances like create command like insert command select command some option of select command alter command delete command and update command thank you so much for watching please leave your questions in the comment section down below Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Student Learning. Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description. We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.